what's up guys Strats here and I'm bringing you a new tutorial um, this isn't going to be the desktop one although I am going to follow that up uh, it's going to be a new one and it's going to be um, kind of the same thing but with uh, YouTube layouts and uh, the first thing we're going to do is this one and it's the basics and I'll show you that now hi Strats that's Tom Tom's here he's not going to say anything I just thought he'd let I thought I'd let him have a high that's about it anyhow let's get into Photoshop um, so we've got our layout um, you can download this template in the description I'll put it in there and uh, it's pretty simple um, and let's just go straight into it so once you've got your layout uh, basically what you want to do is start on the main background instead of starting on the modules before anything else um, so select your background um, and I'm just gonna use a dark sort of color what color shall I use Tom? Mm. I'll let you pick your death. That's not very helpful. <laughs> yeah, green. I was going to say green. Okay, we're going to use green. Um, let's pick a normal sort of... Uh, whoa. Um, I'm not sure what a normal color is, but just a primary uh, brightish color. Not too bright, though. Um, and then you want to pick the same color, I suppose, but make it darker. Um, um, in fact, I'm going to go darker than that and then go to gradient tool, make that radial and then from the inside outwards like so. Then if you're not happy with if it's too bright or something, I'm just going to go to adjustments because I usually have it a bit darker, pull the contrast up, bring the brightness down. Uh, that would do. Um, so now you've got your main kind of outline of your background. Um, I'm just going to do filter, brush stroke, and spatter to make these gradual lines go away, um, which you would have seen in another tutorial. I hope you find that helpful. Um, first things first, I'm going to show you a little effects on the um, background layer, uh, mod module layer, I do, sorry. Um, I'm going to create a new uh, layer and mask it over the modules then I'm going to select a dark dark grey uh, like down there dark or you could do a dark green a really dark green um, in fact I'm going to do dark green um, I always have the modules standing out as a darker colour um, opposing to the background so it stands out a bit more so if it's a black background um, like if it's pure black then I'd have it a bit lighter but if it's uh, a lighter background I'll have it dark vice versa so put a stroke on it and then we're going to select the color we have as the main background there but then we're going to bring it up a bit uh, not too much because you don't want it to stand out too much put it about middle okay then you want to go to inner shadow um, in fact before I do this I'm going to zoom in just so you can see the effect we're getting so the reason we've got a darker background is because you don't want to see this too much um, you just want it to stand out a bit uh, but basically I'm not going to go through these settings you could just look at them and basically copy them like so um, I think that would do and my sister won't shut up in the other room <sighs> but you probably can't hear that uh, and then I'm going to add a drop shadow distance all the way down yet again spread all the way up and I actually noticed this one. I can hear sirens. Um, I'm not going to stop it because just it's not much of a problem. But um, there are a little so a lot of sirens near mine. I do live near near like the town, so that's the reason you hear them all the time in my videos. And I live opposite a hospital, also. Yeah, I yeah. was going to say that. It's not helpful, is it? It's not. <laughs> um, anyway, so we've got that kind of effect, like an outer. Line in, and then we've got an inner line in, and then we've got the kind of highlight in the middle, which looks really cool. Um, add a new layer now. This is where we're going to do the little gloss. Uh, mask that. If you don't know how to mask, remember it's Alt, and then go in between the layers until you get that little symbol, and there you go. Um, <clears throat> now, some templates have like these modules separated, like the top one, then this one, but I just add them all together and then do it like this. Um, so mark, uh, put the marquee tool over the top, rectangular by the way, go to gradient, <coughs> linear, 
um, and then go to color into transparent choose white then you just want to go up here drag it downwards and uh, you want to kind of mess around with it until it stands out not too much but just so you can see it kind of like that um, and it will give it that gloss effect everyone knows how to do gloss nowadays it's pretty simple uh, but it's still really good and I use it a lot <coughs> then I'm going to do it to the other module basically I'm going to do a um, elliptical marquee tool on this uh, so drag it over like this and then to make sure we don't get the top layer um, make sure we don't get the gloss on this box here hold down alt and then just marquee around that box so it deselects it as you'll see when you hold down alt it will give that little minus sign that means it's going to take it away um, so basically you just want to do the same thing as you've done at the top bring, out, bring down the gradient um, have I got no it seems like it's going over the top yes that is why let me redo that guys um, basically what's just happened is I just got rid of my dock somehow um, okay try that again uh, elliptical marquee tool Look, I had my feather on that's what messed that up so just do it again you won't have to do it again because you didn't have that crap on but um just do the steps I just stared, said, stared, I'm being a clown. Alright, now we've got it again, just drag it down, and then there you go. Um, before uh, I go on, um, when you do the top gloss, make sure you merge the layer down into the um, modules um, so you're not using the same one. So when you're using the opacity on this next gloss, it won't change the other one. So you want to kind of get them the same. Um, like that then you want to do the bottom bit um, obviously if you have a template with modules separated and not all in one then you won't have to do it <coughs> all on one thing and do this marque thing uh, but I just I just don't like having too many layers on the side um, I'm not sure it's just Okay, I forgot to mask that. There we go. I pass it down. And okay. Alright, so now we've got our main out outline of it. This is basically the basics. Basically the basics cells. Um but yeah, that's about it. Um basically I'll save this now, then I'll carry on with this background and show you part two. Um, another time um, but thanks for watching hope it helped and uh, showed a few nice little effects in there which you can use um, and thanks a lot just save this bang okay thanks for watching guys like the video rate it all that stuff give me feedback and tell me what you want uh, more videos of that was stupid tell me what you want I'm rambling see you later Strats. peace if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing and what's happening, follow me at Twitter, twitter.com slash stratsyo. Peace.